This is our NLF 200D CPAP system, and we also call it the continuous positive airway pressure uh, system. So for this machine, it's mainly used for the babies, uh, which is premature and uh, with some uh, weak lung function, and also uh, to, for helping the raising the oxygen and the air mixed gas, and also for the NCPAP uptake. So as you can see, this machine we also call it the bubble CPAP because actually here we are using the water generator. And here you can see for this model, we have several parts. First here is the main engine, and then with the humidifier, this basket, and also the turbo trolley. And on the trolley, we have two bricks on the first two wheels. So here, first on the main engine, we can see this model, we don't need to use the battery or use the AC power. It's a mechanical ventilator. So here, as you can see, it's very simple. Here is the pressure meter for monitoring the pressure, and here is for adjusting the oxygen concentration. It will be from 21% to 100%. And here is the flow meter. From the flow meter here, we can first for adjusting and also monitoring here. And this is for testing the flow. So we know for the CPAP system, there are three main parameters and only the three. Uh, that is the oxygen concentration, pressure, and also the flow. So all can be monitored on this uh, main engine. So here, as you can see, this is humidifier. For the humidifier, actually, we have three types. Here, we are using the one, which is basic one. As you can see, we can adjust for the temperature like this to rotate this button. And here, we have different levels. And usually, we need to check on the thermometer. If the temperature is around 35 to 37 degrees, then we can stop for the adjusting. And it consists of two parts. First is the water trap, and then is the, base, the basement. So the basement is for wetting and heating the gas. And here, the water driver, we can drop the water inside so it can wet in and heat in the mixed gas for the baby to breathe in much more comfortably. For the pipeline here, we are using totally five pipelines and three, three short ones and two long ones. And for this pipeline, we are using the reusable one and in the middle of the silicon can be cleaned under 134 degrees. Here, between the two pipes, we are using a water trap. This water trap is for loading the water inside because we know for the humidifier, it can generate the heat and the wet uh, in the gas. So here, there will be some water inside of the water trap. So the water will not get into the uh, baby's uh, mouth or the nose. And here, this line is very important. This line, we can see one, one, one side we connect with the inspiration port and another side is here on the front side of the main engine. So this pipeline is for using to monitoring the pressure. It's very important, you must connect it or there will be the gas leakage. Here we are using a nasal plug to contact with two long pipeline. And on the front here is for a nasal plug. So we can take on the baby's nose and with the head to make it very tight for the baby's breath much more comfortable. For the principle of this machine, as we call it the bubble CPAP. So here, this part is very important. This one is for the adjusting the pressure. And we are using here, it's like a water column. Inside, you can put the water in. And here you can see there is a line. The water will not be above this line. And when the water in, then here with this white item, we can adjust the pressure. And you can see here, it's from one to 10. So the pressure range will be from 1 to 10. And here with the white item, we can set it from 1 to 10 centimeters. So for this machine, there's only part which needed the AC power is for the humidifier. You can connect the humidifier uh, with the AC power, then we can use the humidifier. So usually, if there is no any uh, AC power, uh, so you can still use the machine because it's a mechanical ventilator. Even the humidifier, if you stop it, it won't influence the use of the machine itself. So this is the basic function of this machine.